This is a tutorial of Earth, played on Board Game Arena. This is a fairly new game. It's a tableau builder, where you're building a tableau of 16 cards, a 4x4 four four grid of various cards. And each turn you're taking one of four actions, represented by each of these colors. When you take an action, you get a benefit for the one taking that action. But then everyone else also gets a benefit for you taking that action. That's a little bit of a lesser benefit. And then everybody triggers all of the um, cards that have a power with this color in their tableau or on their board. At the beginning, you choose some land cards or um, it's an island and a climate and an ecosystem card. These are basically just some starting powers that are not part of your tableau, but I give you, tell you what your starting hand size is, hand size is, gives you some unique abilities and powers that trigger. And then the, the ecosystem card is a scoring condition that is just for you. All right, so I'm going to choose these cards here. And And then you get your hand of cards. Because I chose this one here, it gives me eight cards. So you can see this one gives me eight cards. I have to get rid of three of them, and it gives me eight soil starting out. Soil is kind of your currency. We'll go through a lot of this stuff in a minute. But just wanted to get to our hand of cards here to kind of show you what these various things mean. <clears throat> so there are various ways to score points. Uh, in this game. It's somewhat of a point salad. First of all, anytime you play one of these cards, this leaf number here are points for that card. So this card is worth one at the end of the game. This one is worth four at the end of the game. This one is worth zero. But it has other abilities. They have spots here that you can fill with sprouts. It's the, uh, represented by this little cube. Every sprout that you have is worth one point. And then they also have uh, the growth, which is kind of this thing that you will stack up here. In the physical version, you're stacking little uh, plastic pieces up here. And this one can stack up to four, and you get one point for each to you get one point for each, but if you complete it, and the top one that you put on is a little colored canopy, then you get a bonus in this case, three in this case. In this case, you just get two, but in this case, if you fill all three, you get five, and so forth. So the main ways that you score points are the points in the cards, sprout tokens that you have, the growth on the cards, and then you will com be composting cards, where you're basically discarding them into this pile here, during the game and you get one point for every uh, card that you've composted at the end of the game. So those are the main ways in your board that you score points. On the main board there's various objectives that you're racing to complete and these ecosystem cards are other ways that you can get points. And then there are some cards that uh, um, have brown effects that trigger at the end of the game as end of game points. All right, so let's uh, go through the different actions that you can do on your turn. And we'll kind of explain what some of the symbology is. Because there's a lot of symbology, but once you get used to it, you can understand. A couple of things that you should note about the BGA implementation. Every card that you have in your hand, this is your hand. And there is no hand limit, so your hand could grow very, very large. My hand was up to 20, maybe 25 cards at one point. Any card that you see, either cards in your hands or these cards or any of these, have a little question mark. And whenever you click on that question mark, it will show you the ability and explain what's happening. So in this case, you pay one growth, which are these things again up here, and then you gain three sprouts. So you basically trade one of these for three. And you're think thinking point-wise, you're trading one point for three points, so that could be good. So each card has a little question, a little uh, question mark there to explain what the card does. 
It also has these little flags here. And these are kind of helpful, especially if you're playing a turn and you're waiting for other people to play and you're trying to plan out your next turns. These are just for you. And they're basically, they let you flag cards that either you don't need, so when you have a chance to compost, you can get rid of them for points, or you do need, you want to plant, or something in between. You can kind of use those however you want. They're a nice little system to remember, oh, this is what I was going to do. So in this case, for instance, um, everybody starts out composting three, or no, this, uh, in this case, I start out by gaining eight cards and composting three. That's what these little symbols mean. Gain eight, compost three from my hand. That circle arrows means compost from your hand, uh, compost. And once your hand is from your hand, sometimes there's cards in there that means from the deck. And then I get eight soil. So I pick three of these cards to compost. And I have my hand, starting hand of five cards. And you can see I've got three in, three here in my compost, and I have eight soil. Again, that's kind of the way to pay for cards. Each card has a cost at the top here. Some are very cheap. You know, these are just one. This one's four. This one's very expensive. Um, but it's nice because it has some flexible abilities. All right. So let's talk about the actions the four different actions here first is the green action <clears throat> this if you choose the green action you can plant up to two cards then you draw four cards and keep one and then you just discard the others you don't compost the others everyone else can plant one card and draw one card when you plant a card you will plant it in your four by four grid the first card is just played but every other card has to be uh, adjacent to it, but that can also be diagonal. And you don't have to decide where your 4x4 grid is at the beginning. You just kind of, uh, you, can, you can adjust it as needed, and it'll show you all the different places that you can. The reason that might be important is there are some cards that trigger based on position. Or there are some scoring conditions, like this one, you're trying to fill two columns in your island. Uh, and so there are reasons you'll want to position things in different ways. And you're going to see during the play this end phase, and that's basically meaning like, okay, I'm done. They'd let you do a lot of undo actions um, during the game. So a lot of times you are able to undo, which is nice, but it does mean you have to click this end phase. And if you have the uh, the timer option, there's a timer option here. I'm not seeing it now, but I think um, during the game it will show there. That some end phase will count down just so you know if you forget to click, it'll do it for you. All right, so we talked about this green action. And then remember, everybody gets to, um, after the after the green action is chosen, everybody gets to choose or do, run their green abilities. There are very few of these green abilities, partly because this action is chosen quite a bit. The game is triggered when, all, when somebody uh, fills in their board with all 16, and the first person that does that gets a 7-point bonus. So this, this one happens quite a bit. So there are very few abilities that trigger on that green color, but if you do find one that's good, it's certainly worth uh, worth planting for those abilities. The next one is the compost. This just, if you were the one to play it, it gets you five, uh, five soil and lets you compost two cards, not from your hand. This is a little different from the deck. Right, adding to your point total here. And also you're often able to spend cards from your compost to do other things. So you've got to think about all of these different pieces as resources. The cards in your hand are resources. The cards in your compost are resources. The sprouts on, that you'll put on these the cards that you plant are resources. The growth can be resources. Anything can be a resource because it can often trigger something else. For instance here, this you can pay two growth to get four soil, right? 
often these orange abilities are going to get you soil. Right? This is the best way to get soil, which doesn't give you points at the end, but is the way to buy cards. So if you ever need soil, then you can... Um, these orange abilities will often get that for you. Right? Here's another one where you pay one uh, sprout to get two soil for that ability that triggers. So again, if you're the initial person to do this, then you get five soil and two compost. If everyone else gets either two soil or two compost, then all of the orange abilities trigger. This one would trigger, in my, if I had these planted, this would trigger, this would trigger. Again, when you trigger them, you don't have to do them, right? If I don't want to pay the sprout, or if I don't have the sprout, then that doesn't trigger. But, um, you know, or it's like the end of the game, and I don't need the soil, I need to keep my sprouts so that I can keep the points, then I would skip this, right? There are also some cards that have this little, we'll see those a little later, but they have these, these triple colors. Those will trigger for all three of these different colors. So yeah, you will see cards that have this these three stripes. Those will trigger and anytime you do any of these three uh, events. All right, that's the orange one. And then all of the orange or dark orange or reddish abilities will trigger. By the way, um, it can be good to know, but your tableau will trigger from top to bottom, left to right. So as you go through, it will go in that order. So if there's some sort of combo that you're trying to set up, I didn't find it too picky, but um, if you really want to maximize your efficiency, note that it goes in that order. If one of your abilities would trigger on your board, like here I have a blue ability here, you can pick whether you want to do your board and then your tableau or your tableau and then your board. That may, may affects some again the way you do things but I didn't find it to be too big a deal all right the blue ability is water this is how you get sprouts so the person who plays it gets six sprouts they put anywhere they'd like and two soil so it's a nice they get two soil here everybody else gets either two sprouts or two soil and then all blue abilities trigger note that a lot of these blue abilities are getting sprouts and then yellow is grow this is how the best way to get growth, right? If you if you choose this action, you get you get four cards and you get two growth. Everyone either everyone else either gets two cards or two growth. Uh, and these yellow abilities are typically ones that give you more cards and more growth. This one gives you a card uh, and so forth. All right, I'm gonna move forward a bit in the game and kind of show you what a tableau looks like and how one of those might be triggered. Uh, one of these events might be triggered then go, going through all of your different actions. Okay, here's a little bit further in the game. You can see I have my tableau built maybe about halfway. Uh, I've got five here. I've got some sprouts built on some of these cards. I don't have any growth yet, uh, but you, know, you can see the others have a bit of growth on some of theirs. That's what that looks like there. A few things I didn't mention before. A couple of things that you can do anytime, basically anytime that you want. And it's playing an event or converting sprouts to soil. So playing event, sometimes you'll run across these event cards. And they will have a black... Uh, ability at the bottom and in fact other cards may have black abilities on them as well which are things that just trigger right away one time when you play them like this one here that just gave him seven sprouts uh it didn't cost anything two points at the end seven sprouts not too bad the event cards don't cost anything you can play them basically whenever and they will give you maybe a point, maybe nothing, even they might take away points and they let you do something. In this case, I could trade two, sprout, or two growth for four sprouts, just as a, an event. Those don't go in your tableau, they just go right here and they, uh, yeah, they do something for you immediately and the points that total at the end of the game on those. So be aware of those, you can always do that. You can also, if you're really, needing money or soil to, to plant a card, you can convert three 
uh, sprouts into two soil. It's not the most efficient way to get soil. You try to, you know, see if you can get it through other means, right? So, like this one, this two growth gets you four, or um, th there's certainly better ways to get it. But if you really just need that, like this one, one gets you uh, two soil instead of three getting you two soil. So it's not very efficient, but if you do need that little bit, you can get that. Uh, note that if you are planting, if you are putting down sprouts and you don't have room for sprouts, you can't just say, ah, oh, just convert the rest to soil. You just lose ones if you don't have room for them. That doesn't really happen too often, but just keep in mind that. A couple other things about cards um, that I hadn't mentioned before. Each card, almost every card, has one or more of these climates up here, and those, us those will match up with various, like this one here, at the end of the game you get three points for every two sun cards, or uh, this goal here, you're looking for eight cards with a water in it. So that's what those are up there. Also the different plant cards, so there's like the mm, ecosystem card, or like land cards I guess. Um, these ones with, with, the, with this symbol. And then there are plant cards, and they have one of four symbols. Those will often be referred to, right, for like this one here. Uh, I get a sprout. When this triggers, I get a sprout on each, I think this is herb, on this row. And so I put herbs on this row. And this one actually was kind of special. It counts for anything, so that was kind of nice. And so um, it has all four uh, four types in there. But you'll see those types referred to in some of the various abilities. So those are two things you can always do. A couple things here on the side you should note. These are basically just a brief overview of all the different things that you have. How many cards, how much soil, how much in your compost, how many events, how many of the different types of plants, how many sprouts and how many you possibly could have. Same with with, so it's just a brief overview of yours, and you can get a look at other people's as well. These are the number of uh, scoring objectives you've achieved. And then there's also a little bit of a picture of your tableau and the different colors that uh, are triggered because of it. By the way, this is one of those rainbow ones that will trigger on all three of these. So... Um, uh, this in this right here also represents who's the active player. So I'm waiting for this player to make a choice. They decide to do yellow. And so that means I can draw two cards or gain two growth. I decide to gain two growth. Shows me all the places I can put them. So I put one there, and because it only could needs one, it just put the canopy tile there, and that gets me two points. And then I put one there as well. And then I will end phase because I don't need to do any of these two things again. Remember that's gonna you have to you can undo a lot, and so you always want to end that phase when you're done. Then we wait for everybody else. And now we go through. We start from here, the top and go through one by one. So this is going to trigger first, then this one, um, then we go to this one will trigger, and that's it for yellow. So it lets me activate. And pay one of that to gain a card. This one's really nice because it lets me gain sprouts on three different spots. So I gain all three of those. I will say when you're using, um, when, when I was playing this in real time on VGA, a lot of times I would go too fast and click things too fast for the system. So you kind of have to do things and then wait a second for it to update and then do the next thing because there's just a lot going on obviously here. Then I activated another thing here that just gave me an extra card and then I can end my phase.
Okay. And then I wait for everybody else. And then I'll just show real quick what it looks like when it's your turn, because my turn is up next. Oh, it looks like I converted some things because I wanted to do some planting. All right, now it is my turn. And so here are those four actions I can do. Plant two, compost, water, or grow. In this case, I decided to plant and because I had saved up some money and there were a few that I really wanted to plant. See, I had, I had flagged this, uh, flagged a couple to plant and end up going through that so that kind of is how the game works again end of game happens when somebody fills in their whole board and this they get that seven point bonus there again you are racing to complete these objectives the first person who completes them gets 15 and 11 8 6 5 there are some other scoring bonuses that you get at the end of here that you can look and yeah I found it to be um, Really, you're just focusing on what you're doing, but it is nice because you're doing something every single turn, no matter what other people are doing. And so, like, if you have a really great yellow setup, anytime somebody does yellow, you're excited because you get to do all of those abilities again. And the end of the game, points for cards, points for sprouts, points for growth, uh, points for any goals that you have, and points for compost. There's no points for soil, so... You don't want to have too much remaining. There's a few that you can, if you have any questions on icons, there's a nice little help here. And there are a few options that you can do to um, customize the look of it. And yeah, you just go back all through. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thanks.